So before we left, we uh, had the understanding that we were going to build an orphanage, but we weren't too sure if the funds came in to do that. So we get there and there was uh, a concrete slab laid out and the walls, the block walls were up, but nothing else was inside and it was our job to frame it, to wall it, and then to roof it. Working up at the, the work site up at Torcel, it's been amazing working with the Haitians and seeing the, the little family that, that's been right there next to the, to the property. It's pretty, uh, pretty emotional being able to see all these things going on. It really blesses our hearts to know that these kids are going to have a great place to live. Uh, they'll be able to take more children here. So it's just a privilege really to be a part of this, of what God is doing here in Haiti, in this little area of Torcel, uh, in an orphanage that is gonna bless many, many children. From, you know, sort of a, a bigger perspective, people are just gonna see what our heart is, and then there's the 50 orphans or whatever that are gonna live in that house, that they're gonna have a place to live. Of course, the orphans will uh, have a wonderful spot to live, and that's why we were down there. But you know, it's also a huge impact on the workers that worked with us. It gives them a living for their families. That's why I feel like it's so important that we leave as many of our skills with the Haitians as we can, because they're going to stay, we're going to leave. When I prepared, I, I knew that I I uh, wouldn't be doing construction, it's just too hard. And so Steve and I talked and I said, I'd really like to, um, being a grandma, I would like to go and do some crafts with the kids and do one-on-one -on -one with them. I think the, the neatest thing was uh, for me was to be able to uh, teach with the Haitians at that Bible study. I think that they're very hungry for the, for the Word and to hear the story of how God works in their lives. And they could share that story with other people there. Things of the world, we keep singing the song, have grown uh, dim there. And uh, being able to focus on doing something for God in a, another part of the world and in uh, adding hope to people's lives that really don't have a lot of hope. I think we're all hoping that these kinds of trips bring the hope back into people and we're starting to see that. We're starting to see a real excitement in, in, the, in the, the body of Christ here. God is here, you can just sense Him. I just sense this anticipating wave of Him coming through and just a revolution of the Haitians being freed up in Jesus and the passion of God just being released upon these people. It's important that we're here. The, the children are being cared for, they're being fed, they're being loved, they're being sheltered, and that's important. But in, in the long term for Haiti, these kids are the ones who are going to grow up and be the future leaders of Haiti.